I'm Sam Coleman and welcome to my home. Today we are making a simple peanut butter treat. This takes no heat of your oven and your kids could probably make it. You can make this anytime and it is so easy. You are going to love this. It takes no time. We are starting out with two cups of graham crackers. Now I love graham crackers. I've made graham crackers before. I did not make these graham cracker crumbs. Nope. Why go through all that hassle when I can find quality graham cracker crumbs? Now, we will be making new graham crackers, which I will show you sometime later. Not coming up yet. But you can do this. You can buy them. It's up to you. To that, I'm going to add one and a quarter cup of powdered sugar and half a cup of butter. Then three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. Now, I'm using all natural peanut butter. You use whatever kind of peanut butter you want to use, whatever kind of peanut butter your family loves. I'm going to take a spoon and mix this up. Now I've got a pan which is an 8x8 eight eight baking pan. It's lined with aluminum foil and sprayed with butter spray. Now you can use whatever kind, of, you can use parchment paper, you can use whatever you feel comfortable with and you just need to grease it. Now when you grease it, I would grease it with some sort of butter. It'll taste better. Now you're probably asking yourself, why on earth are you making a no-bake treat right now? It's getting cooler, fall's coming in. Well, there's a reason for it. <laughs> I can do this while dinner is being made, or in my case, while a cake is in the oven, and I can have something to snack on, something to give my guests, and it's also something fun if you have, you know, like relatives over or their kids over, you don't have to do this in the kitchen, you can do this anywhere. All it takes is it does take some refrigeration. All right, now comes the fun part, and this is what I always do. I'm just going to get this and just start mixing it up with my hands. This is why you can have fun with the kids doing this. Get their hands down in there, make sure they're all nice and clean. Then, now that it's all mixed up, I'm going to just dump this into my pan, move that out of the way, and then just like everything, press it down. You want to try to get this as even as you can. Once you're happy with your crust, set it aside. I have one cup of white chocolate chips. And to that I'm adding, what is this going to come out? Oh, I'll give it a little hand. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. Once again, use whatever kind of peanut butter you want to use. I'm going to take this over to my microwave and heat it for like 30 seconds and check on it because my goal is to melt the peanut butter and the white chocolate chips and mix them up together. We'll come back once this is all melted and we'll pour it onto our crust. Now I've got my the, I've got my white chocolate chips all melted. Now if you find that your white chocolate chips and peanut butter are a little dry, and that can happen, especially with natural peanut butter, you can add a tiny bit of butter or a tiny bit of oil to that, and it'll help make the mixture more smooth. As I'm just going to pour this on top of my peanut butter, on top of my crust. Dollop that on there. Now you'll notice that mine's not completely smooth. And the reason for that is I'm using a natural peanut butter, which of course does not have a natural, does not have a smooth texture. Remember, peanut butter is just peanuts that have been ground up. Now, you can click that button right there, and that will take you to a spot which will show you how to make your own peanut butter. It is so simple. You will never have to buy peanut butter ever again. Just buy the peanuts. Real quick spread here doesn't have to be beautiful. Like I always say, I want these things to be eaten. I am more worried about the taste than I am about their, about their beauty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this into the freezer, but you can put it into the refrigerator so it will heat, it will <laughs> cool and chill up and get firm real quick. We'll be back once this is all firm. Our bars are right out of, are nice and chilled. I'm going to cut one. Mine are pretty frozen right now. That is really good. They have this graham cracker texture, but this very peanutty taste. You can detect the hint of the white chocolate, but the peanut butter takes everything over. This would be really, really good, I hate to admit it, for breakfast. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. I think this would be one of those great treats you could have any time. 
I literally would just break off a piece of this and just nibble it all day. <laughs> it is that good and it was so easy to make. All you had, you, there was no heating, no anything. You just had to make it. How simple is that? Don't forget to subscribe. Every Monday through Friday I do something different. On Monday it's for the at home. Tuesday it's a recipe. Wednesday it's stuff for you and your house. Thursday it's a cocktail. Friday you'll wake up in the morning with a recipe for a sweet treat. Now you can like and share this on social media. Don't forget the recipe is just down below there in the description. And also give me your comments. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, and what things you'd love to see me do because I'd like to hear from you. Remember, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.